I had this fear of bugs laying eggs in me. I know, disgusting, right? When I was little, I would hear all these horror stories about people falling asleep and then spiders crawling in their ears and laying eggs in there. And they wouldn't even know about it until they, the eggs hatched and spiders started crawling out. And I suffer from an overactive imagination, so I was seeing the spiders also crawling into my ears and making webs in my brain. I used to think that this was an irrational fear and that I was just being silly, although studies do show that the average person swallows about seven spiders in their sleep. But then my friend Cosmo told me this story. It was terrifying. His friend took a nap, and while she was asleep, a cockroach crept into her vagina. That's right. Her vagina. Now, I'm wondering how dirty of a downtown area you have to have for a cockroach to think it's a nice nesting place. And she must have been a really sound sleeper. But anyway, the cockroach crawls in there and lays eggs. And I'm not sure how she discovered this situation, though it would be a really interesting addition to the story. But when she found the eggs, she had to go to the doctor and have them scoop them out, which is a pretty picture, I must say. So now, not only do I have to worry about my ears, I have to start worrying about other openings on my body. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not worried about my south of the border. I keep that shit on lockdown. I, I like a clean working space. But what about my nose? Or God forbid something flies down my throat. What would the headlines read? College students chokes on larva. Young woman's uvula to hatch flies. Nosebleed leads to insect discovery. Ear infection produces maggots. God, I need a cute.